Hey everybody and welcome to the Design Breakdown with Innocent Keyboarding, the series where we break down your favorite flyers, banners, brochures and everything that can be done in Photoshop. We are taking time to break it down to the very basic terms and then look at the concept and how it was implemented. In today's episode, we have KFC's 10 years anniversary flyer. That is a very simple flyer and we are going to break it down. We're going to look at the typography the backgrounds and everything how it was set up as a disclaimer this video is purely for educational purpose i do not intend to claim that this was designed or done by me i have no hand in this everything that we're going to recreate is basically for educational purpose i don't mean to claim ownership of this design all credits to the amazing artist who did this a big shout outs to him wherever he is now let's take time to break this down let's see what we will need and then we can go ahead and start the process so the first thing that we're going to look at is when you look at this particular flyer here you realize that the background is made up of something like a wooden background so when you head over to google and then you make a search like wooden background you're going to get something pretty similar to this one and then again we have also this particular background the second background that is underneath of all the at the bottom of the design and it pretty much looks like a wooden background as well so you're going to get two wooden backgrounds separately and then you're going to use that for the background so when you get to the resources the resources that i got personally and some of them from the actual flyer these are what i got so i got a black wooden background and i also got this gray wooden background i got two of them so we can try the two of them out and see which one looks better additionally looking at the flyer we have here this was made with a rectangle and then obviously the test here and then the logos so this design is very simple clean you can see the spaces around the edges and it makes this looks very very clean so why don't we go ahead and get started and look at how this was implemented all right so we're going to need to create a new document and i'm doing this in photoshop cc 2019 so i'll go to file and then new and we're going to create a new document so this is the typical instagram size so let's go to set our measuring scale into inches here and we're going to set proxies four by four inches and then we go ahead and we click on create now this is our background this is what we're going to implement the design here when you look at the resource here i have all the resources that i'll be using so let's start off with the wooden background so i'll drag and drop my wooden background inside of photoshop and then i'm going to take time to open it up to fill the space that i want if you look at the design here i'll be making reference to this because this is what we are recreating i'm not going to do anything different from what is on this particular flyer I'm going to just basically recreate the same thing the idea behind this is to give you the thought process behind this particular flyer and not to give you or to add my own sort of creativity to this it is just a remake of the same flyer so when you have your wooden background set in place you can take your time to make sure that it is set in the right place and then we can go back to the resource we have this wooden background again the second one so i got two actually because i couldn't get something very close to what we have in the normal or the actual flyer so i'll first of all try to use this one and perhaps we can try to use the other one as well so once i bring it over here i can right click and i'm going to rasterize the layer i'll go for my rectangular market tool and i'm going to make a cut off here so somewhere around that place like that and i'm going to deselect it now you realize that this particular wooden background is very sort of whitish i don't want to say gray so what we're going to do is we're going to try to turn it to something quite darker like what we have over here like i said i couldn't get something very close to this one so excuse me the most important thing is to get the concept not the same thing <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to press ctrl l and we're going to add a bit of levels to it so that we can try to darken this one a little bit like this let's try to make it so very dark 
like that now it looks very plain for me so let's go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then let's try to blur this one out a little bit like this and i think we can push it up a little bit here so you take your time and then you can do just like that if it feels like it is too very sort of whitish for you you can still add some more blurry parts so we can still go to filter blur and then we can blur it some more it doesn't have to look so very sort of very hard like that so something like this you create some sort of blurry and that is going to be it so on top of the black wooden background if you look carefully over here you have some sort of light that is thrown at the background so to do that what you're going to do is you're going to create a new layer on top of the wooden background and then you're going to pick your brush tool so what you do is you right click and then you can increase your brush size to be very very big like this one so somewhere around here make sure that you have your colors set to white so you can use the switch here to switch the normal colors so you have your foreground color set to white and then your hardness set to zero so what you're going to do is you're going to make one left click just a stroke and then it is going to create that sort of light at the background for you if you don't want it this big you can decrease the size you right click and then you decrease the size and then you can make this light very simple like that so that is going to serve as the background the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the main things over here so it's going to be the chips and then the chicken over here so i couldn't get the exact thing as well so i had to crop this from the main flyer forgive me kfc i'm not trying to steal your stuff okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag this and i'll drag i'll drop it inside of photoshop and then i'm going to position it somewhere around here now before i forget of this if you look at the very edges person left some very nice edges so we're going to view and then we're going to create some edges so new guideline let's set five percent vertical and then another five percent that or 95 percent over here so we have the left and then the right side to be the same all right so once we have this over here we can adjust our background image this also looks very blurry in my case the one here doesn't look really blurry like that but then that's pretty much because of the kind of wooden background that we got i hope this makes sense to you now the next thing that we want to bring in is the coca-cola bottle at the back of it so i got a coca-cola bottle over here and then you drag and drop it inside of photoshop you go and pick anything like the magic one two which is going to create like a one-time magic selection and then you can go ahead and delete it now afterwards you can pick your move tool and then you can send it inside of the work that you are creating so over here you can just reposition this one and then you press ctrl t and resize it again you realize from here that the size of the bottle from this one is so different from the other one in the actual design so what we're going to do from here is that at the bottom of these at the bottom of the chicken and then the chips here we have to create some sort of shadow so at the very bottom here what we are going to do is we're going to pick our rectangle tool and then we're going to create a very simple rectangle over here so something like that and we're going to turn the color to black so we select the color picker and then we're going to turn this to black and then we make sure that it comes out a little bit like this one let's even try to open it up a little bit so something like this all right i think this looks good now what we're going to do is we go to filter blur and then gaussian blur over here and then we're going to rasterize this so you see how important it is to rasterize your images so we're going to open the radius something like that so that it becomes very blurry and it looks like a real shadow not something because the item cannot be hanging like that so you need to create a shadow for it so let's try to leave it somewhere around here oh goodness all right so once we get this we click on ok and that is going to be for the chips the chicken and then the coca-cola bottle 
all right so to work on the test over here we're going to need this background that is the rectangle that has been created so to do that let's add some few more guidelines to it on the very horizontal basis so let's select the horizontal here and create the same thing five percent and then we're going to create 95 percent this time horizontally so everything basically has to be within the box to check or to make sure that your alignment is in place all right so to do the testing the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pick a rectangle here and we're going to create a rectangle at the very edge of the guideline that we set so somewhere around here is going to be fine okay so somewhere around here and then we're going to double click on the layer thumbnail and we're going to set this to red so you realize that the designer here used the same colors in the kfc logo pretty simple and solid right so once we get this done we're going to make a duplicate ctrl j and then we're going to drag it to the very bottom over here we press ctrl t and we're going to resize this a little bit like that so somewhere around here perfect now the next thing that we're going to add will be our test now it's quite unfortunate i tried figuring out this same test but i couldn't find the same thing so i'm going to make use of another one all right so we're going to type the test here like that and then we're going to select it all let's try to make use of poppins because poppins looks quite similar to the font on there but i couldn't find the ex exact same font really sorry about that i really hope in the upcoming breakdowns i'm definitely going to find the exact same thing for you guys okay so i'm going to use popping semi bold here and i'm going to open my toggle character and then i'm going to set my tracking to about minus 40 and hit on enter all right so from there i'll try and drag it onto the rectangle that we created so i'll press ctrl t and i'm going to transform this out and then i'll drag it to the rectangle all right so you take your time to reposition it like this and then you're going to bring your test over here pretty simple like that okay so we're going to make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then we can bring it at the very bottom right underneath of the first test double click on it to select all the tests and then we're going to change this to box over here okay so once we get this done the next thing that we're going to do is in between the test we have some rectangle white rectangles over there so we're going to also do that and to do that you just have to go for your rectangle tool over here and then you're going to make a rectangle a very small one like that so the color is already white so let's try and bring it somewhere or in alignment with the design so we close it up like that and then the next thing that we want to do is we want to make another duplicate ctrl j and then we want to drag it underneath of the box so you realize that we need to expand this rectangle over here so i'm going to open that one up and expand it very simple like that the next thing that we're going to do is the next test so we're going to borrow the box over here drag it underneath and make sure that it is in alignment with a guideline that we set so we're going to select this test and we're going to change that one to ghc so that is the ghana cities press ctrl t and you're going to close it up to make it very small like this one the next thing you do is you're going to make a duplicate drag it to the extreme right side here double click on it and we're going to write at 29 so 29 like that and you press ctrl t to make sure that you expand it to be very big like this one and then you take your time and then you can make sure that it aligns with the ghc that you created over there quite very simple yeah so the next thing that you're going to do is you make another duplicate of your GHC, ghc here and then you drag it to the very right side right over here now we're going to select this one again all over again and over here it says that three pieces of chicken chips and 300 ml drink so we're going to write the same thing over here so this time it's not going to be all caps so all right so for that we're going to select that and we're going to make sure that we are using the medium type of or you can try acrobat the font here looks very similar to acrobat 
i'll try and put links in the description if you want to get any of the fonts on here so right from there just like that the next thing that you have to do is to add the logos and then pretty much we are done with the design so for the logo i got the kfc logo over here so i'll drag and drop it inside of photoshop and then i'll close the logo like that and i'm going to send it to the very top part of the design so quite simple like that you can even close it some more if you really want to but you make sure that it is in alignment so pretty simple like that the next set of logo is we're going to bring in this particular 10 years logo so kfc is 10 years in ghana and we're going to bring that as well into photoshop excuse my unusual arrangements so it's it's this is not like a step-by-step -step design this is just a breakdown i just try to get you to know how certain things were made or achieved on this particular design so this is not like the actual normal step-by-step -step tutorials that i make all right so what we're going to do is we're going to close it up a little bit and bring it here or position it right over there and at the very bottom there is something over there so what we're going to do is we're going to get a rounded rectangle but let's try and get all these logos up to the very top side so we're going for a rectangle too and then we're going to create a rectangle over here and it remains black so let's select the color to be black so black over here and click ok and then what we're going to do next is i think we need to open it up a little bit more so open it up here a little bit more and push it up so something like that and then what you're going to input in the you can press ctrl h if the guidelines are sort of distracting you so what we're going to put here is the 10 we've already written the 10 or the logo is the 10 to 10 years in ghana and that is what is inside of the rectangle so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we position it in the rectangle so you press ctrl t to transform it like this and then you take your time to reposition it something quite very simple like that so the next thing you do is you want to make sure that this particular chips and then chicken is in very the composition is in alignment with the backgrounds that you're using so you can select that and then you add a bit of composition to it so you can press ctrl l to add sort of levels to it to be brighter a little bit for this particular gray wood background underneath of it i got one more for you so you can try to use that and let's see which one looks better for this design so i'll bring this one in here let's try and use this one as well and see which one will look better so let me place it over here it has to be actually underneath of this one so right over there and let me right click on it and rasterize the layer and i'm going to add a bit of level straight so something like this one let's see how dark it can be so something like that okay i think i prefer this one and then let's go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and try to blur it out a little bit so a very little bit like this one and then we can click ok so let me know your thoughts between this and the first one that we used this two which is your favorite and yes so basically that's everything you need to create something like this now the whole idea like i said in the very beginning about this sort of this series is to break the design down to let you know exactly how certain things were made on the design it is not the intention to actually get the final design done but you might actually need only a single thing from this design and also i do not in any way intend to claim that this is my design i give the due respect to the the actual designer who did this it's amazing the concept is amazing the color combination so perfect and i hope this breakdown was helpful to you now i set up a new email that you're going to send your design submissions for breakdowns so if you see any design that you want us to cover in the design breakdown you make sure that you send it to the email that i'm going to display on the screen right now and then 
in the description i'll put it over there as well if you want to send your designs for breakdown if you are a graphic designer an artist and you want your works featured on this one be sure to hit me up on instagram and let's vibe together now let me know your thoughts about this whole series let me know your thoughts about the kfc design and a big shout out to the graphic designers at kfc they are doing some awesome work actually i got it from their instagram handle that's why it looks this very pale so this is the actual design and this is the breakdown thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i hope this was helpful let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next episode of the design breakdown it's innocent here and bye